Have you ever seen a truss bridge or walked on it? You saw many patterns in the bridge. If I ask you to make that pattern in your notebook, you may fail to draw that pattern perfectly. But if you know or use the concept of congruency of triangles, you might do it. So congruency means two figures or object are congruent if they have same shape and size. So in this sense, two plane figures are congruent implies that their corresponding characteristics are congruent or equal, including not just their corresponding sides and angles, but also their corresponding diagonals, parameters and areas. So let me show you how congruency works in bridge design. Suppose I have two pairs of wooden blocks or rectangle pieces in which I have arranged four blocks in such a way that it formed a square and fix it with four nut bolts or you can use wooden screw. Now I ask you a question, does it have the strength to hold the heavy objects on its one side or not? Or does it perform a perfect square that does not need to fix it more? Your time starts now. You are right, the answer is yes. We have to fix it more. Here you can see, if we I place some block over there, just some weights over there, it will fall down. So we have to fix it more. If I place a two rubber bands, just like that, that it forms a diagonal from one point of the square to the another point of the square. Or we can say that the opposite vertex that joins by a rubber band. So, so here you can see if I put a rubber band to the vertex, opposite vertices of this sphere, it did not fix. So I have to place another rubber band to the opposite vertices of this sphere to make it perfect. Here you can see I place a rubber band to the opposite vertices. So you can see guys if I place the two rubber bands on the opposite vertices of this shape, you see it will become a perfect sphere. So now it forms a perfect square and this design is same as that the truss bridge. So I hope you are getting my point. So here we can see I am taking two triangles that is A, B, C and A, D, C. If you are checking these triangles that this side is common in both triangles and this side is equal to this side and this side is also is equal to this side. So here is 12 cm and this one is 12 cm. You can check this is 12 cm and this is 12 cm. And this is side is the common in between these two angles. So here we can see that the SS rule can help us to prove the congruency of two triangles. If these two triangles are congruent, their other parts are also equal. Like uh, their angles are also equal. If we check this forms a perfect square. This is 90 and this is 90. So all angles are 90 in the squares. So this is 90 and this is 90. The angle is A, B, C is equal to angle A, D, C. Here we can prove if three sides of a triangle, of two triangles are equal, they are congruent and their other parts are also equal. So we can say that their corresponding parts are equal. Now student draw the triangles which have same angles you can see that if we take two triangles which have same angles their sides are not equal so triple a congruency rule does not exist and it does not mandatory if all the angles of one triangle are equal to the angles of other another triangle then their sides must be equal if three sides of two different triangles are equal then their corresponding parts are equal we can say that their angles are equal so students, I hope you understand the concept of congruency and the first rule of congruency of triangle that is triple S. So in the next video, we will study the SAS rule and why SSA and ASS rule doesn't exist and why it is not valid for congruency of two triangles. So I see you in the next video. Bye guys.